Good afternoon, guys. If you watch my prior video about macaroni and cheese on top of the stove, I just want to show you I drained them. And you're going to have to watch the video that I um, did a presentation on macaroni and cheese before this to understand. So I would like for you to watch both. So you see how I drain my macaroni and they cook for about 10 minutes and I am going to start grating up my cheese. I'm going to get right into the video and I want you to drain, wash, once your uh, macaroni and cheese uh, get done, you rinse them off. And you put them back into the pot. Then you grate you up some fresh cheese. And what I am going to attempt to do is make some good macaroni and cheese on top of the stove. Okay, I'm going to put some butter in it about this size. I'm going to stir that up. Then I am going to add me some white cheddar cheese. Now you got it on low, so let it cook low. Put you some white cheddar cheese in there. Stir it up. And just let it cook low. Put you a pinch of salt in there and a pinch of accent. So after I put my white cheddar cheese into the pot, I am going to use half of the cheese that came out of the box. And this is Kraft, but you don't have to use Kraft. I'm gonna use half of it. I don't want it all, just half of it. And I am gonna stir it up. And then I am going to put me some milk in there. I am cooking it low. You can do a medium, probably a medium. You could do medium, but you got to be really careful with it because it'll burn and start sticking to the bottom of your pot. So you just want to get as much cheese in there as possible. If you notice, I just used half of the cheese that came out the box. I want me some macaroni and cheese, but I don't want it to taste like it came out the box. So you are just going to, after you get your cheese, your butter, and half a pack of your Kraft cheese into the pot, a little accent, a pinch, a pinch of salt. You still gonna let it just simmer. You're gonna put some more cheese in there. And then you're gonna turn your heat up just a little bit. And just let it just cook for about five minutes. You're gonna, you're gonna hear it come up to a boil. That's what we want. So sometimes when you get macaroni and cheese in a box, you know, you want to cook it on the stove and you want to be quick and fast with it, but you do have to chopper it up a little bit. You got to make it taste good. So this is one of the ways that I do it. And I just wanted to share that with you today. But when we get more into the falls and the winter season, I'll show you how to cook macaroni and cheese in the oven. Um, 
by then I should have me a cameraman to help me out because you know I am you I am new to YouTube so anyway we got our macaroni and cheese and it's boiling it's coming up to a boil <clears throat> we got our butter in there we got milk and we got cheddar cheese and sharp cheese and we got a half a pack of this craft cheese that come into the box so now that our macaroni and cheese is coming to a boil okay you are going to take your cheese and you're going to put it on top as much as you want however you want your macaroni and cheese to come out you're going to put it on top and I am not going to stir this up. I am just going to set it on top and then I am going to turn off the heat and I'm going to let it just set for about 15 to 20 minutes and that ends my video. That is a good way to prepare you some uh, macaroni and cheese on top of the stove with without it tasting like it's out of the box but like I said when it get more into the fall and winter season I will show you how I cook my macaroni and cheese in the oven that would be a much longer video um, Thank you for coming into my kitchen today and keeping me company. Be good to yourself and your family, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.